Hey everybody, welcome back to Freaky Funko Friday. My name is Anthony. Welcome back to all my freaks. We got a short video today. We got four Funko Pop Horror Pops being released. Um, they say in the fall, but because these are what I would consider Halloween based, I'm going to say they're probably going to be released sometime in October, which is in the fall. September, October, November, December, somewhere, you know, somewhere in that area. But I'm going to assume, they said the fall, so I'm going to guess October. Um, and I don't have that information yet, so um, these aren't even available for pre-order. So once I find out, I'll let you guys know. Um, and usually when I do that, I'll go back to this video, and then on the title, I'll put update, and I'll put like the date of the update, and I'll put the information in below. So, um but yeah, these are going to be expected to do out in the fall. Based on the content, I'm assuming they'll probably be released sometime in October, closer to Halloween. Just because I would consider these Halloween, because they're horror or pop, so they're, you know, Halloween, um, in my opinion, Halloween based. That's also why I'm wearing orange for, for Halloween and because Chicago Bears, hey man, it's my favorite team. Um, we've been having a tough, 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 tough last... I don't even know how many years. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> it's been tough to be a fan. Um, but I stick with them every year. So, But I'm wearing orange to support this video. Because um, this to me is Halloween based. As far as these characters go. So let's go right into it. So the first one we got is Pennywise. Um, now this one is going... All of these are exclusives by the way. Um, this one is actually going to be a Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive. So... Um, Rhode Island is having their own Comic Con, and this one's going to be at the exclusive. And so this is a black and white, older version of Pennywise. Not from the new It movie, but from the older It movie. This is Pennywise black and white version, which I think looks great. And again, this is a Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive. Now, after the Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive is over, will they have this in stores where, you know, anyone that doesn't go to Rhode Island can get these? I don't know yet. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. For example, New York Comic Con, some of those New York Comic Cons show up in stores, just like San Diego, but also some of them are only exclusive to that specific Comic Con. They haven't released information on Black and White Pennywise, so I don't know, but I do know he looks cool, and I do know I would love to get him. So um, that's Pennywise number 55, and again, this is a Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive uh, coming out in the fall. So the next one I want to get into is Cthulhu, uh, one of my favorite um, uh, monsters, characters. Well, so many different things you can do. So this is a Books a Million, Books a Million, that is um, exclusive to Books a Million. And this is Cthulhu number three. And uh, he's got that classic Cthulhu look. I love it. I think it looks great. Um, and bam, whenever you see bam... On the sticker, that means books a million, and and he looks cool, man. He looks really, really cool. So I'm always excited when I see Cthulhu. I have a bunch of his plushies. I have um, some of his Funko Pops. I have a Dorbs, a, a glow in the dark chase Dorbs from him. Um, quite a few uh, items from Cthulhu. Love him to death. So I believe this one you should be able to buy online. I would actually go to booksamillion.com and see if he's available for pre-order. I haven't checked yet. Um, but he might be. And if he's not available yet, write this down or however you're going to make, you know, if you want this one, whatever you do to make sure that you remember which ones are coming out, however you keep track of that, um, make sure you put a note to, to continuously check their website because something like this will sell out, guarantee you. So um, that is Cthulhu number three, and that is a Books a Million exclusive. Again, all of these are coming out in the fall. My assumption is sometime in October. That's why I'm wearing orange today um, to, to symbolize that. So two more to go. So this one I really love. I really love. I really love this one. We have Jason Voorhees. And this is number 611. They, wouldn't it be cool if they put 911 as the number? Think about it. That'd be cool. But they did 611. This is a Walgreens exclusive and what's up with everyone wearing these, um, you know, these, uh, uh, I call them potato sacks. 
but again, reminding me of Scarecrow from DC Comics. Um, but there he is wearing that uh, mast um, over his face instead of his Jason, you know, hockey mask that we're used to seeing. Um, and uh, I think he looks great. I, I think he looks phenomenal. It looks dirty and rusted. So, I mean, not rusted, but dirty. And and it really looks like he's been wearing it a long time. It doesn't look like he just pulled it out of a bag and was like, hey, let me use this instead of my mask. It looks like he's actually done some damage with that mask on. No blood on it, but it's definitely dirty and, and rugged. Uh, that's what I meant to use instead of rusted. Rugged. It looks very rugged. I think it looks great. I love the hand coming out to get you. Um... He looks cool. So this is a Walgreens exclusive of Jason Voorhees. And then the last one is Michael Myers. This one is a little gory. Um, this is Halloween number 622. Michael Myers. This is an FYE exclusive. And there's not much to say. This is the same mold they use for most Michael Myers Funko Pops. Uh, this one they decided to throw a lot of blood on it. And we see it. So they put quite a bit of blood on this character and um, he looks great. I'm trying to zoom into the box to see if the box has blood on the box itself and it doesn't look like it, which is okay. But I always want to check for the small details. They might, it might actually have blood on it. I just don't know. And I notice if you look at his face, the blood, the, just look at the large spots on his face. There's, there's probably three major large spots, two right here and one on the side of his cheek. If you look at the the Funko Pop in the box, you do see the one kind of on his cheek, um, but those two spots in the middle, you only see one. So I'm not sure if the blood spots, the blood spots are gonna be the same on every character or not. That's what's not letting me really grasp if there's blood in because if there's blood in the box itself like on the actual plastic part of the box inside it'll show that illusion where it looks different um but you do see two different blood splatters from the vinyl figure with the knife then from the box version of him same character you just see blood in different parts of the body uh on on the other one they're kind of similar but there is some differences there so I'm kind of curious on that one. And then even on the picture on the box, on the left-hand side, there's different blood. Because that one, there's more blood coming from his mouth on the picture. Where on these two, it's just spots of blood. So who knows? I I, I don't know if they're going to use the same... They're going to use the same mold, but I don't know if they're going to use the same blood splatter on all of them or not. It just might be each one's unique to itself, which I think would be cool too. Based on this one, the picture... Jason in the box and Jason out of the box, none of the three have the same blood splatter. They all have different, similar, but not the same. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, these are dropping in the fall. My guess is going to be sometime right around Halloween time. So definitely look out for those um, coming your way. And uh, however you notify yourself, if you put it in your smartphone um, and you put you know dates or reminders or whatever you want to do to make sure you're able to grab these, um, and keep checking Books A Million. Um, and uh, if they're on pre-order, let me know. I'm actually going to check it anyways. But that way other, other viewers that watch this video, maybe they can look at the comments and see. If they are available, I'll definitely put a, a link to their website below if they're available for pre-order. Um, and uh, I know FYE is, is not available yet. But um, Books A Million, I haven't checked yet. So I'm going to check that one out and see if we can get uh, Cthulhu because I really love Cthulhu a lot. So again, as always, thank you for watching this video. Please be kind to one another. Treat one another with respect. Um, this world has way too much hate in it. And um, all we need is peace and love and really get along with one another. Um, there's no reason for violence or negativity in this world at all. There should be no tolerance for it and no place for it. So um, we all, we're all we all souls that come from this exact same place. Uh, it doesn't matter your religion. doesn't matter your race, ethnicity. Uh, gender it doesn't matter it does not matter we all come from the same place we are all related on a cosmic level um and so why hurt one another just be nice to one another be kind to one another and um you'll see that karma come back in, in positive ways for you and you, it'll change your life completely so thanks again for watching i'll see you guys on the next video take care Bye bye